Hey guys, it's Lee here from Click Studios. Today I wanted to show you the differences between a shared password list and a private password list. So if you weren't already aware, a password list is just a container which holds uh, password records. And normally what you would do would be to group together like passwords and put them all into one single password list. An example of that is here you can see I've got a credit cards password list. And I have a couple of passwords in here which have a similar theme, which is details of some credit cards. So the difference between a shared and a private password list is a shared password list you can add permissions for other people. And when they log into password state, they will be able to get access to that password list and any passwords inside of it. A private password list is designed purely to hold your own personal passwords. Think things like your personal bank records, Facebook logins, things like that. And not even a security administrator of the system can get access to your private passwords inside that list. So one way to tell that uh, what type of password list you're dealing with. So if you select a password list and up here, it tells you it's either shared or private. And if you do have a shared password list, all you need to do is go list administrator actions, view password list permissions, and I'll grant you permissions here for one of my test users um, called Adam Wilson. And we'll give him a view permissions to this. If we click save and then log out and log in as Adam, You'll see that he now has access under business systems, credit cards, and he can access those passwords. If we take another look at where it tells you this is a shared list, next to that in brackets you'll notice it says view access. This is handy if you want to tell at a quick glance what type of access you've got to this list. If we now take a look at private password list, You'll see here it's listed as private. And if we do the same thing, you'll notice that you can't grant anyone else permissions to it. So only Adam Wilson will see this private password list here and no one else in the system. I hope this has explained the difference between a private and a shared password list. And thanks again for watching.